hello and welcome to a new video on this channel. Today I'm going to show you how to build these two beautiful nether tree farms in Create. Enjoy! So, as you can see, we are using two deployers and a mechanical saw for this farm. This deployer, whoops, if it lets me show it, this deployer places the warped mushroom while this deployer bone meals said mushroom. As soon as the tree grows, it will get broken down by the mechanical saw and be kind of thrown against this huge wall and collected down in this little water stream that connects up to this to this brass funnel. <laughs> and as you can see, it will just suck up every single item that drops. Now, we're going to need also a little catching area for any warped block that falls over to the other side, since some of them are landing kind of like in this general area. So in order to push them back into the collection area, we just built this little collection platform. Some of the ward blocks do get a little stuck here and there, but you're going to get you are going to get so many ward blocks that won't make a difference. Same goes for any item that lands on one of these two blocks. And speaking of these two blocks, these two are actually necessary for this farm, since sometimes the middle block, when the tree grows, turns back into netherrack. If that happens, we have actually a little setup over here, we are dividing the bone meal that is, that is going to this one deployer here, dividing it up for it to go down over here to another deployer that will bone meal the nether rack to become nylium once again. But we can't let the deployer fire all the time, since the problem would be it would bone meal the nylium and there could grow some nylium roots or the twisted vines or anything else that isn't a mushroom. That would of course break our farm. So in order to prevent that from happening, we are having an observer looking at the middle block that detects when it turns into a netherrack block. As soon as that happens, we have a little repeater down here that goes over to this little pulse extender that's, that goes 30 ticks powering that torch and will unpower this clutch. So for 30 ticks this deployer will fire. This will be just enough to place... Oh, there we go, that's timing. <laughs> so as you, st as you just witnessed it will be just enough to turn it back into nylium and not plant any other plants on top of the nylium. In order to get the mushrooms, we just have a little regular nether mushroom, a warped mushroom or crimson mushroom, depending on which one you are building, farm over here. This is quite a classic vanilla design for also like flower farms and similar things. Just We're just using create to move the items and we're using a deployer for the bone meal that gets fed through all the bone meal that goes through this, this chest or this vault. You can just hook up the whole system to a bone meal farm or mob farm or something like that and first grind up the bones just like we did over here. Here it's actually set up to get fed with bones from a mob farm or something like that. The bones go through a millstone and the bo bone meal gets transported further. Just keep in mind that you're going to need to filter out any white dye, since there's a 25% chance for when grinding bones to drop also white dye. So keep that in mind. Also you could just take actually the, take some of this bone meal and use another tunnel to bring it over to this side but I'd kind of recommend to keep it separate so this part will always have enough bone meal to produce our mushrooms and we are always having enough bone meal 
to actually grow the mushrooms. Also, for this farm, I'm using kind of like an actual clock with a mechanical bearing and redstone contact at the speed of 16. I can show it over here, right? So I've put a speed controller over here so we can speed up the rest of the farm, but the clock stays always the same. And yeah, it's actually simply connected to a little pulse extender set to 20 ticks. And then with the redstone torch, the signal gets inverted and the pistons retract as soon as the redstone torch gets a signal. This part is actually quite vanilla, but it works very well and you could use any excess item that comes from this farm to create more bone meal, but I felt like it won't be that efficient, so I'm just going to throw it away and designed it to be fed by an actual bone meal farm or bone farm. And as you might see, if you want to have either the crimson variant or the warp variant, you're going to have to create two farms if you want to have both of them, but they work exactly the same. And it's also very, very satisfying to watch this farm since the blocks get kind of fired forward as they get harvested, especially the taller the tree. That's also kind of why we need this huge glass wall since the trees can grow very tall and the items would just fly across your whole world. So we're going to stop that. They're just going to crash against this wall, kind of like here. Yeah, just like that. And that's basically it. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and maybe consider even subscribing. It would mean a lot. Thank you for watching and bye.